Hey, happy holidays, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions and 10 Minute Photoshop. We're going to look at a quick Christmas snowflake tutorial today. So if you're taking a, a family photo to send, to send to friends and family, and you want to add some cool designs, some cool snowflakes in there, then this is what we're going to do. So the first thing you're going to need, I've got a nice stock photo right here, but we're going to need a snowflake brush. So you can download that freely, I've, I'll have a link in the description below. So all you need to do is install that uh, brush, and we're going to come here and select it. So right now we've just got a regular brush selected. We're going to come up here, click, and go and select our snowflake brushes. Okay, so we've got quite a few to choose from. So you're going to click one. Now the problem with these brushes is if you're just going to start randomly clicking like this, they all look the same, and that's no good. So what we want to do, first we're going to create a new layer. What we want to do is go into the brush settings right here. Now, if you don't have this palette open, just come up here to Windows, Brush, and there it is. Okay, so there's a lot of cool stuff. First thing we're going to do is we're going to increase the spacing quite a lot, like that. So now whenever you click, there won't be as many. Okay, and we're going to come now and we're going to check Size Dynamic, and we're going to up the size jitter. What that's going to do is every time, as you can see down here, the little preview, every time you click, they're going to be at a random size. We're also going to make sure the angle jitter is up. That makes sure, that's going to make them um, always be at a different angle, so they're not always the same. Again, we're adding some randomness. Come down here to scattering. We can move the scattering, so they're not all going to be in a straight line. They're going to kind of be scattered around. You could up the count that every now and then it might have two in a row. I'm going to keep it down to one. And then finally, we're going to come here to transfer. Make sure control is off and just up the jitter, and that's going to make um, the opacity jitter be random, so they're not always going to be really bright. Okay, so I think we're ready to brush. Let's go with a little darker red slightly. And from here, just going to, and I'm actually just hitting the, the, the cursor once and just moving around and it's creating all these nice brushes. Now, of course, I'm using the same one out here, so what you could do instead is stick to this and then come up back to the, your brushes and then switch. Now we're just going to now every time you're just going to have to um, reset the size and the spacing, but all your other settings should still be there. So then we're just going to click that one a few times, click another one again, up the spacing again. And you can see how we can end up with a really cool design with that. You can make larger snowflakes or make lots of very small snowflakes. There's a lot you can do right here, a lot of variation. It's a, it's a really fun thing to do to add a nice Christmassy feel to any photograph. Um, and as you can see, these techniques are, are great, not just for snowflakes, but for any brush effect where you want to add a bit of randomness, a bit of an effect to a brush. Use the brush palette, play around with those settings. It's a lot of fun. Okay, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, please check out the website. We have some free Christmas poster and postcard templates that you can download and put your own photos in there, put your own message in there, and they're all ready to go, really nicely designed. So go ahead and check those out. Please like this video, comment, and give me any suggestions for future tutorials you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob Baldwin. Happy holidays.